Welcome to Level Learning, a Flowline video training series. Again, this is Mark with Flowline bringing you our Level Learning series. And today, I would like to talk with you about Flowline's new DataView 2 LI55 Universal Display and Controller. So let's get started. The general purpose meter displays engineering units with 1 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 10 VDC transmitter input channel and is offered in three configurations with optional two or four relays, four or eight set points, and an isolated 4 to 20 milliamp repeater. First, let's get to know the data view two. The 1 8 DIN enclosure features a NEMA 4X faceplate and shallow depth case. The meter has a bright six-digit LED main display and secondary unit display with relay status indicators. Four big and easy to access buttons allow configuration and control of the meter's features and programmable settings. The meter will work with any of Flowline's 4 to 20 milliamp analog output sensors like the Echosonic 2, Echo Span, or Echo Pod series of sensors. We are now going to go over how to change the value of the decimal point in the display. This should be done first before any other settings are configured. To do this, we will follow this diagram to navigate to DECPT. We will use the F1 and F3 buttons to configure the decimal point. To start, press the menu button and then F2 twice. When you see setup, press F3. Now press F2 once and you will see DEC PT displayed. Press F3 and using the F1 button you can change the value of the decimal point. When complete, press F3 and then the menu button to return to run mode. We've now changed the position of the decimal point. Now we are going to scale the 4 to 20 milliamp inputs on the LI55 meter. But first we need to know how we configured the transmitter. Here the 20 milliamp is set to 300 inches and the 4 milliamp is set to 0 inches. We want to program the meter to display 0 inches when it receives a 4 milliamp signal and 300 inches when it receives a 20 milliamp signal. To start, we need to get to the scale program settings. To do this, we will follow this diagram to navigate to scale. We will use the F1, F2, and F3 buttons to scale the meter's input. To start, press the menu button and then the F2 button three times. When you see PROG, press F3 and you now see scale. Press F3. We now see INP1 which stands for input 1. This is equal to 4 milliamps. Press F3 and use the F1 and F2 buttons to change this value to 4. When complete, press F3. We now see DIS1, which stands for Display 1. Press F3 and use the F1 and F2 keys to change this value to 0. When complete, press F3. We now see INP2, which stands for input 2. This is equal to 20 milliamps. Press F3 and use the F1 and F2 keys to change this value to 20. When complete, press F3 and we now see DIS2, which stands for Display 2. Press F3 
and use F1 and the F2 keys to change this value to 300. When complete, press F3 and the input will be saved and the meter will return to run mode. Thanks for learning with Flowline. Please visit flowline.com for more level learning videos. At Flowline, we do your level best.